Hey guys, it's Tony with Thinner Geek Designs, and I'm back with another tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about Adobe Photoshop Sketch. Now this is one of the Adobe mobile apps. It's similar to the other ones that we've talked about. The Adobe mobile apps are kind of like an app to complement the desktop apps. So this is the Photoshop Sketch app. As you can see, we have a current project we have open for one of my clients I'm working with. And this is for a mood board for him. But we're going to create a new project, so we're going to hit this plus sign in the corner. And it's going to populate a new project for us. We're going to go into the project. Now on the side, you can see we have all of these brushes and pens and eraser over here. We have our layers on the other side. So let's go over to this top one. This is our pencil tool. We'll hold it. And it will pop up another dialog for us so we can see what options we have to choose from. As you can see, there's other brushes that are in here. And you can import your own brushes that you've made in Photoshop on here. So say if we went to library brushes, you can create it with the Adobe Capture app. We'll tap again. We'll get our size option, we'll get our flow option, we'll get a color option. Let's change the color on this one. You get themes, you get pickers, you get my libraries. We want a blue one for construction lines. And then we'll just tap off of it. We also want a thicker pencil, so we're going to click. We're going to hold our finger generally in that circle area. Up is to make it bigger. Down is to make it smaller. I think we want a smaller one, actually. About there looks good. And to draw, you just basically use your finger, or if you have the stylus, we want a circle. And that doesn't look like that great of a circle. But there are tricks to make great shapes in this. You'll see up above, on the top right, there's this circle and triangle icon. If you click that, you'll get lines, shapes, French curves, polygons. We'll go grab the circle tool. It's going to create a shape for us. Okay. <clears throat> now we have our circle tool. You can pinch it and make it bigger or smaller. I think about there looks good, so we'll move it up a little bit. As you can see, we still have a pencil tool selected. And this is where something that you didn't think ever would happen is going to happen. We're going to just make a circle around it, and now we have a perfect circle. With this X icon. And that's probably the best circle you'll ever be able to draw with two simple clicks. Now imagine if you're a digital painter and you're trying to do some quick sketches, or if you're a storyboard artist and you're trying to use some quick sketches, you could find some really great tools for this program. And then just like all the other Adobe apps, you can import these directly into Photoshop and finish it there with all your layers that you have incorporated into these files. So let's add some guidelines to this. We're going to pull up the parallel tool, which is going to pull up this ruler. We can rotate it however we want. We want it about there, looks good. Make our line. Undo that, that was a little bit too long. Right there, looks good. We'll rotate it again. And as you can see, it's locking on the degrees for us. Do about there, that looks good. Cross that out. Now we'll go back to the circle tool. And we'll show you guys something else that we can do. We can squish it, which is great if you need an oval, which we need right now so we can make eyes. We'll shrink them down a little bit. Shrink them down more. Starting to run out of fingertip space. There we go. That looks good right there. Right there, there looks good. That looks good. Kind of do that about there. That looks good. For a rough sketch. 
We'll get rid of that circle. As you can see, we're quickly making shapes without, or we're quickly making designs or artwork without even really trying. See, quickly we have a good sketch laid out. We haven't taken up that much time. Now I'm quickly just doing a sketch to show you guys kind of what we can do in this program. I would say this app really though is great for all of you artists out there that are looking for something to kind of bridge the gap between your iPad and a tablet. Or sorry, an iPad and the programs you use on Adobe on your desktop. So like I said, I would try this program out, see how you like it. It has a lot of good uses in it. And I think you guys are going to find a lot better use for it than I can. I personally use it sometimes, but not all the time. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Remember, tutorial videos come out every Friday, so stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next one. Bye.